Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is Shadow Fury 333, bringing you another match between the Sponge and Silent Surf. The last match on Battle for Planet 17, where the Sponge basically just picked his battles more wisely than Silencer. We have a match on Kaleo, and Silencer starting out in the top left corner or northwest corner of the map. He is going for Cloakies. The Sponge, southeast corner of the map, also going for Cloakies and Kaleo. This is not uncommon. Very flat map and open map, though. It, actually, I'm a little bit surprised there aren't more vehicles being used. Granted, no, it's a pretty shallow hill. So yeah, there aren't a lot of vehicles being used on this map, despite its flatness, despite its openness. Mostly Cloaky Bots we see on here. Cloaky Bot Mirror. That's a common matchup to see on Kaleo. Silencer is doing the same thing as did last time, just getting a couple Glaives to scout out, and then building up Rectors, while the Sponge, same as last time, five early Glaives he wants to raid once again. Worked last time, probably will work this time. But it's definitely going to be interesting to see what Silencer does. He knows what happened. I'm fairly certain this happened after the game we just saw. I actually should probably double check that. But I'm fairly certain it did. It was... Well, if it was, then yeah, it's probably going to be... It was either right after or right before. At any rate, if it was right after, then Silencer didn't learn his lesson. If it was right before... Sorry, right before he didn't learn his lesson, right after. Let's see if he did. Let's assume it's after and see if Silencer changes the way he plays. Going once again for Mass Glaives, which on this map, not at all surprising. You want to just have that to check around. If you're playing Cloaky on Cloaky, you want to be able to check around, make sure you know what your opponent's up to, where your opponent has set up their mechs and so forth. The Sponge, on the other hand, same thing. Though with a few more Rectors, he is going for five Glaives and a Rector, while Silencer is just going pure Glaive spam. No rectors for him other than the first, two, the two he made. He has two, or supposed to have two. Nope, he only has one. One for each player, but that's not going to help out. I'm a bit surprised he isn't expanding in all directions. Okay, Silencer's commander could stay here. I'm just surprised he's not sending another rector over to the east as he sends one to the south. This is a thing that drone does a lot, and it works out quite well. Though admittedly, that's more on vehicle-heavy maps. But this is a very similar map to things like Titan Duel. It's less flat. But it's a similar idea, and having that sort of double spread expansion would work pretty well. It looks, however, like Silencer is just trying to make a hidden expansion in the southeast corner of the map, or southwest corner of the map. Hidden expansion in the southeast corner would be rather impossible, given that's where the sponge is. Anyway, the sponge trying to do the same thing as last time, trying to just take out as many of Silencer's glaze as possible. Probably just for defensive purposes. There's really not much point to doing it for killing, because, like I said in the last game, these wrecks are all food for Silencer. They are not for the Sponge. They cannot be for the Sponge because he can't really send a Rector in there to grab it, and his commander going in there would basically be the I win move if he's winning, or suicide otherwise. The Sponge, that being said, his commander is moving to the side. He is going for the same commander as last time. I should point out, this is version 1.2.3.5 that they were playing on. Rather, it's past version 1.2.3.2, which is the one with the Econ change. So, plus 4, plus 14. And they don't have to play support commanders, but I don't think they quite realized that at the time. In fact, it was a pretty silent change. I only realized it because I noticed it in the change log on the Google Code page. But anyway, Sponge going in for combat, trying to just harass a little bit, keeping Silencer on his side of the map. Not really dealing much damage, but that's fine. All the Sponge wants to do is keep him on the side of the map. And as I was saying, spread expansion, Sponge is going for exactly that, getting a rector to the north and his commander over to the west. Once he finds this expansion here, he'll have cut off Silencer. Like, this area is forfeit. The Sponge has it. It's dead. These are dead mexes. But the Sponge is going to try to save this. Looks like he's going to try to raid in. Has about a dozen glaives coming down, and the Sponge's commander is out of position. Silencer is going to try to raid this out, and he's... One Lotus. He's going to lose about three or four glaives, but he's going to succeed... Three or four glaives at most, probably more like two, depending on how quickly they come in. The Sponge realizes this is happening. His radar is right there. Actually, one Glaive goes down for free. Another one goes down for free as well, or at least gets heavily damaged. And once again, Silencer is kind of pushed back. But actually, nice angle by the Sponge coming in right at the side. Basically keeping Silencer's Glaives out of position, or most of them out of position. And the Sponge's commander is about to get attacked. But between Blaze Dirt and its own Pea Shooter, it should be fine. The Glaives pushed away again. The Silencer does not want to lose those Glaives. He does not want to feed metal to the Sponge. And he is still only expanding here. Uh, at this point, the Sponge actually surprisingly doesn't have that big of an economic advantage comparatively. 
Despite the overdrive, it looks like Silencer is, or at least has been, feeding off Reclaim well enough. I mean, he has 10 metal in here. He has 4 metal from his commander, that, and a bit of overdrive here, compared to, well, 8 metal in each of these extractors, plus the commander's 4. But a tick! Nice tick used by the sponge! Nothing to follow it up yet. Okay, there is something in time. These glaives need to come in, follow this up, and I think Silencer might be... Well... <laughs> Silencer is saying, well, losing all of his glaives, becoming very wide open, and at an economic disadvantage as well. I'm a bit surprised the sponge has n or rather, yeah, the sponge. Does he know about this? No, he doesn't. In fact, what the? No, he does. His radar is fully aware of this. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't gone over and just dealt with this, because this is his. Really, this Silencer is invading on Sponge's territory here. He, he doesn't have to do this. The sponge doesn't have to tolerate this. It does not have, he doesn't have to let it stand, but he is. Or at least he hasn't quite dealt with it yet. But it looks like he is dealing with it right now. Sending that in, and that will tear apart this expansion. However, units coming in south from Silencer, he is pushing a lot into his factories. Though so is the Sponge. The Sponge, however, focused a bit more on ticks as well. Actually, the Sponge having the economic advantage he has, I'm a bit surprised he is focused that much on ticks. It's useful, definitely. I mean, you want to obviously not lose your units if at all possible, but... Still, sounds are really pushing hard in this territory. The sponge, if he comes in from this angle, there he goes. That's the right angle to come in from. Just crossing the T on that, and that will kill off all of Silencer's glaze, cornering them all and surrounding them, and they are all dead. So Silencer once again loses his entire army. His rector is threatened, and it's going to go down. That rector is gone. The sponge has completely taken this territory. He just needs to build some mexes, and he has tons of reclaim. Rebuilding one of the mexes over here, and probably going to go down here and reclaim everything to the south. Because right now, metal is his bottleneck, not energy, and that's with the... Wow, all the wind chains are running at pretty low power, too. So once they kick in, all this metal is going to be extremely useful. And the sponge going in, it looks like he's going to go for a counterattack. Might not be the best idea. What probably would want to do is just make sure that Silencer isn't taking another hidden expansion, like he is to the northeast. But instead, he is going to go for the... He's going to attack a bit, and I, he doesn't... He can't win, I don't think, at this point, because the thing is, he's going to attack the main base. he got to win, because Silencer's commander can eat that all up. That'll all be belonging to Silencer if the sponge throws it away, but he is wisely not doing that. In fact, Silencer throws in the towel. Not even a GG, just gives up, realizes he has no chance, and drops the game. So I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit anticlimactic. I'm guessing that happened before the Battle for Planet 17 game. Anyway, I'm going to have another one for you pretty shortly. It's going to be between God and Randy, which admittedly no one knew that was happening. But hey, if you could see the future, that's what you were waiting for. Stay tuned for that. That'll be up in just a minute.